What's up guys, so today I'm just going to be showing you what you should be eating on a regular basis uh, when you're starting out. You're going to see straight away, there's no chips, there's no burgers or McDonald's, nothing like that. If you want to stay as lean as possible year round, you're going to be wanting to eat these foods. And uh, These are just the basics, You don't, uh, there's a few things in here that I haven't involved that would probably be better suited uh, for different people. Now, I split them up into proteins, carbs, and fats. So, a lot of these aren't that expensive, but some of them are a bit more expensive than others. You don't exactly have to buy these foods to be getting the results um, that you want. Certain foods here react different with uh, certain people. Now, I'm going to be starting off with the proteins. Protein, for all, you, for all people that don't know, starting off, protein is probably the most important uh, macronutrient just the fact that protein is what builds muscle uh, it's the building blocks of muscle uh, there's I don't even know how many different sources of protein and fi uh, of foods there is um, the main ones that people focus on are chicken beef now this is just meatballs um, there's the same thing some people go for different top different uh, forms of beef, there's steak, there's mince, there's meatballs, there's um, uh, different kinds of steaks, uh, other ones are salmon, and then the main one that everybody knows is eggs. Now, the reason why you should be focused on mainly on protein, as I said, is the building blocks of muscle, you're going you're gonna to be wanting to take in um, a minimum of a gram of protein per pound body weight. Uh, at the most I would suggest at the most, by far the most if you're starting off a gram and a half per pound of body weight. Now if you're going kilograms I think off the top of my head it's two grams uh, per pound of body weight or two and a half grams per pound of body weight. Now moving on to carbs. Uh, some carbs are going to be a cheapest source. Um, Simply the fact that carbs don't cost that much. Um, these rice cakes I think cost under a euro. I don't know what they cost in America. This uh, boiled and bag four or five pack is maybe three or four euro. Granola is probably the most expensive. I, I don't know personally. And then pasta. These are, aren't going to be the most expensive sources of macronutrients. Just the fact that it's so cheap but you get so much of it. Now the reason why you want to be focusing on so much carbs during your journey um, is the fact that carbohydrates are the preferred energy source to your body. Um, now people have said I don't know how many times that carbs are bad for you. Carbs are not bad for you. Too much carbohydrates that you're not going to be using up is bad for you. If you take in on a regular basis say 200 grams of carbs and you don't you and you're taking an extra 100 grams and you don't use them uh, your body will store them as fat sometimes but if you're on a high energy usage throughout the day your body isn't going to be using them you're not, your body's not going to be storing them as fat so there's other sources of potatoes that I didn't uh, include in this there's white potato, sweet potato, red potato um, breads, whole grain breads uh, whole meal breads, brown breads, and um, just that the list goes on. Um, one thing you'll notice that I didn't have fruit because the thing I have with fruit is I don't like to eat a lot of it because fruit is very high in sugar, but it's very high on um, vitamins and minerals that are good for you. But I don't. I rather just get them through other types of foods now. They do have a very high uh, amount of um, vitamins and minerals, uh, fruits and vegetables. I don't personally eat a lot of vegetables. So going on to fat, fat will generally cost a bit more depending on the type of fat. A curve, for example, this is a pound of coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil is a bit more expensive depending on where you're getting it. There's two different types of fats here that I really like. There's just full fat milk and then there's almond milk. Almond milk will be a bit more expensive uh, because 
almonds in general are probably the most expensive type of nut. Um, almonds on their own are a great, great source of fat. Um, other sauce here that is quite cheap is just normal peanut butter. Um, now guys, you don't have to be splashing a four or uh, four, 500 euro a week on food. I've been able to uh, spend 50 euro at the most on a lot of food that would do me a week. Um, like, for example, if you were to buy two of these, that may be lasting a couple of days. Two of these, uh, a pack of this might last you maybe a week. Um, milk, obviously, depending on how much you use uh, personally, um, would last you a couple of days. So these are just the main uh, different types of fields that you should be in on a regular basis. So thanks. Look out for the next one. Thanks. Bye.